Well, let's imagine that you're working on a new project, and in that project you want to use the one of the wax flowers, Philotheca, and here's the image of that wax flower. That's what it looks like, and you've created a, a new symbol. It's a climbing, scrambling plant, and here's the new symbol. And we, we want to use this symbol in in the drawing, of course, so we turn it into a block. That's just a matter of grabbing everything and right-clicking and saying I'm going to create a block and we have talked about that a number of times but what about if you want to use that block in other designs um, you've done a lot of work so let's capture some of that work just select the new symbol it's not yet made into a block and we'll copy it to the clipboard then we'll start a brand new drawing without a template and then we will paste we've co we've copied it to the clipboard so we're going to paste it in this drawing takes a little while because there are quite a lot of elements in this block and then for an insertion point we just click and it's a good idea to start with zero zero and then zoom extends we've got a we're in model space and we've got a dark background for the moment. I'm in the habit at this stage of I'll regen the drawing and then just grab all those new elements and I'll move the what's now a separate drawing to zero comma zero and then I'll zoom extents. So we've got a fairly clean drawing now um, and it shouldn't have any blocks in it and it doesn't and let's look at its size file size is 56 kilobytes that's really quite small for an elaborate drawing such as this and now we turn it into a separate drawing so it becomes a block so we can save file save as and we'll, we'll put it on the desktop there and we'll call it Philo Theca and save it and there's our block. We can now use that block in other designs. We can import it this time from the desktop. So let's just try that. We'll start a brand new drawing, go to blocks, add it from another file, and here's our Philotheca. And of course the file is in use. I need to and now we should be able to go to blocks and add from another file there's the Philotheca and we bring it in to this environment imagine that it is a new drawing I'll use the distance command so from one side to the other that's about a meter in length which I think is reasonable so we've lifted a block a newly created block from one drawing and we've used it in another drawing but we have to remember where we have located that particular symbol well you may remember that our drawing our Philotheca is on the desktop so I'm going to select it and then copy it and I'm in the habit of making a folder called my symbols on the main C drive of my Windows computer and you could find a similar place in the Mac and I then will paste that into the My Symbols folder. What I'm then going to do is return to GCAD Plus and I'm going to go Tools, Set, Library, Block Paths and you'll notice that the My Symbols folder is located currently in C users key documents and so on we were, we're going to change that by clicking here and we'll navigate to our C drive and to our my symbols folder and now you'll notice a much simpler path to it so we can OK that now let's imagine this is a brand new drawing and we want to get at that particular symbol so it's just a matter of going library my symbols 
and there it is. Philotheca and insert it into the drawing. And there we are. So can you see that um, putting your own, making your own symbols, putting them in a, a, a named folder, doesn't have to be on the C drive, it can be anywhere in your system, somewhere that you know where it is. And these symbols are now well away from the standard set that comes with GCAD Plus. And of course, if you want to upgrade GCAD Plus um, and you've got these precious symbols, you can very easily back them up and they're kept away from any upgrade. Well, once you've reached this stage, you're in a very good position to maintain some sort of quality over the symbols that you have created. You might, for the sake of argument, just draw some sort of dummy line from 0, 0, and just make sure that it's anchored at the point that you want when you are inserting the symbol, and this looks correct. I'd also be inclined to have a look at the layers, so in the usual GCAD Plus system, the more colourful parts of the symbol are in a layer called L Plant Symbol, and I've got a layer called Plant construction and I've made it the current layer so if I turn off the plant zoom everything should go leaving me just with a marker and can you see these particular symbols are on the wrong layer they're probably on layer zero and they are so we can come over here and just move it back on to that symbol let's turn everything on what we want now is some sort of marker uh, we don't need our construction team to see this level of detail. So this is a tumbling, scrambling bush. So let's draw a polyline now. And we'll draw it just as though it scrambles and trails over. And we'll close it. And let's make it, give us some curve fitting. I'll make it a cubic beast line that gives us a nice curve. And the other thing I'll do, make sure that's on the construction layer, and it is. The other thing I do is put a marker. So format, point style. We're going to put a point which will be a plus sign. And I'm in the habit of making this about 1.5 units. And we're asked for an insertion point, or we should have been, and I wanted to put it at 0, 0. So I'm actually not sure where it went. Um, I can't see it at all. So let's do it again properly. Format. Sorry. My mistake. No wonder I couldn't see it, because I had set the marker to be that. So what I needed to do, of course, was draw the point. And we're now asked for a position. And that's what I was hoping to see. But if you pick the wrong option, it's not surprising you re reach some difficulty. So I'll right-click and exit. So there's our point marker sitting there. It is on the correct layer. So now, when we turn off the symbol layer, and just leave the construction layer on. This is what our team will get. They'll just see a rounded uh, elliptical shape and a cross in the middle, and we're done. So let's now turn the construction. Mostly we turn, whoops, turn that construction layer off. Let's make this one current, and we should just be left with the rather nice symbol. It works okay in this instance because the symbol is full of lots of colour, um, but I'm also in the habit of putting the background colour to white and in the habit of saying uh, zoom extents. Now saving it and we'll close it. So we've just updated the symbol. Again let's make a brand new drawing and let's go to library and plants and my symbol and we'll bring in the Philotheca again and insert into the drawing and in it goes and zoom extends 
that's fine looks good but again if I make my view white that's what it's going to look like look like on the layout sheet and if we turn this construction layer off and the symbol layer there we are so I'm happy with the place and I'm starting to build up the my symbols library and we've been asked this question if I develop symbols of my own where do I put them somewhere where I can access them in all the jobs that I do in the future and this is the way to do that sometimes when you make changes to those path settings in GK plus you actually have to close and start the drawing again to pick 